I am a man. I am not a Mexican or a Puerto Rican. I identify with the Mayan culture. I am from Guatemala. But I live in America. I am Freddy Gonzalez de Leon. It's 1963. Guatemala City. I was born like all of you. under a year old. I was moving about as babies do, and my mother, she lost her grip on me and I fell hard onto the floor and landed on the back of my head. A lot of liquid came pouring out of both my ears and I was rushed to the hospital. <coughs> After looking into my ears, the doctor sent me home. I was a changed child. No longer responded to music. And as I learned to walk, I held my head down. At nine months old, I became who I am. A deaf boy in a hearing family. I felt like an alien. Until I was about six. My mother took me on this big truck and, and we arrived at a large building and my mother led me outside to a playground. I had never seen a playground. There were children, yet something was different. I approached the little boy playing in the sand. I noticed he didn't even attempt to move his mouth. Why wasn't he moving his mouth? He was staring at me, demanding, using a hand motion again and again, staring, waiting for me. be true. We were the same. Death. <laughs> Hallelujah. I was not alone. I found my people. <laughs> I am an artist. I am a son. I could not hear you. I am a husband. A few months after my wedding, I moved to America, to California, to learn English and ASL. I became a father. I met my first child, my son, Juan Miguel, when he was three years old. I had planned to be at his birth. The day before I was to fly back to Guatemala for his due date, I was riding my bicycle and I was hit by a car. I was in a coma for a week. The hospital did not know who I was or that I was deaf. Juan never understood yet. Made sure the boy loved and respected me. I was happy for that. Juan, my son, was hearing and very smart and healthy. At three, Juan adored me. During my visit, 
I started to teach my son English and ASL as I had learned. Spanish, tu, means you. He did not understand that dos was tu in English. I tried again. That was the last time I saw Juan Miguel in person. That was the last time I saw my mother and my family in person. In these years since, Juan ended up being raised by Father Ruth's mother. It's strange how he, my son and I, share something else in common. We both lost our father at a young age. I am now in contact with my biological father. I love him as Juan Miguel loves me. Juan is remarried or become engaged to another man and has a baby. We never divorced. However, our marriage was over after I met Juan and returned to California. My son has contacted me. He is an adult now and he's teaching physical education in Guatemala. He still loves me. I haven't seen him since our last visit so many years ago. Fifteen years after meeting Juan, I had an affair with a deaf woman from Poland, Yolanta. When she became pregnant with my daughter, Anika, she moved away to Pennsylvania with another man. I did not hear from Yolanta or if Anika was mine until my daughter was five years old. Yolanta filed for child support. I was not aware that at the same time, Yolanta lost a need to foster care. In 2004, I moved to Pennsylvania where I was granted visitation rights with my daughter while I attempted to gain permanent custody. A year later, in family court, in private chambers, my eight-year-old daughter asked me to sign the adoption papers to sever all parental rights. She had bonded with her foster parents. Signed the papers. Despite the verbal agreement with Hanika's foster parents over yearly visitation, I have not been allowed to see my daughter since 2005, a month before her ninth birthday. April 24th, 2010. I turned 47 years old. April 28, 2010, my precious daughter, Anika, turned 14 years old. She's a young woman now. I miss her. My life in Pennsylvania, as a deaf man, father without his children, a married man without a wife, a man without a country has been enough to consider suicide. 
I live in a homeless shelter. My work visa expired years ago. I have no savings and cannot come up with money to pay for my citizenship. I've been in America for over 20 years. I still believe in America. I still hope to live the American dream. I am fluent in American Sign Language. It gave me full communication. American Sign Language gave me my own language, my own voice. I am an artist. I am a father. I cannot hear you no matter how loud you speak or scream, so please stop. I know more than you about people. I see them, I see inside them, I can see in their eyes what they think, what they feel. There are none more deaf than those who not this. I am a son. I am a father. I am a man. A deaf man. A deaf man. Yes.